Greetings everyone and welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. We're in the last episode, we were trying our luck with the Strength Challenge and Jousting Armor. Uh, to, uh, well, I mean, I was going to say middling success, but really there was no success. We did unlock a token though, which I suppose is good, but we have learnt from that failure. We now understand a little bit better how the uh, the game is going to play out, so we can build a deck specifically for that. Now, I am still tempted to bring Malaclips along with us. Although there's going to be a lot of dice here, and mm, getting the Wanderers for the dice bonus would be very nice. That shield is fantastic for us. So, I'm tempted to, to keep Malaclips. Yeah, we're going to bring Malaclips along. Now, in terms of this one, we've also got the stolen ones. We've progressed a little bit further than previously. So I'm going to take stolen ones, sure. Let's see, we've got the shrine, which will gain life, gain max life. That is nice. Holy relic, also nice. Uh, helpful priest. I'm going to... Uh, I might leave that one behind. Arm wrestling is a dice card. We we don't need it. We're gonna we're starting again from the beginning. We got oh, we got everything for dice. Uh, maybe I really shouldn't bring Malaclips, but the uh, the problem is is that I I do like having Malaclips there. Uh, Alyssa trade. We could bring this one along as it does have a token after all. Um, the Raider Prevention, that's a new card. One Drunken Knight. I do like this one. It gives us an opportunity to gain food and gain all sorts of goodness. Um, Meredith, very useful. And, of course, Goblin Town, super, super good as well. Uh, Market Thief, uh, not particularly fond of that one, especially the high dice ones. But, Burning Building, I mean, Mala Clips might be alright with that one. It's a bit... Bit of a tricky one. We've got spy glasses and we've got exploring the wilds. Uh, let's bring along spy glasses. Let's just see what you can offer us, shall we? Now, as for equipment, uh, we've got bullseye. We do not know what that does. We've got the scotch blade. That's fine. Jousting armor has to be in the deck. We need this one to come with us, and it will automatically have the jousting armor. So uh, that's all fine. Um, this one. I don't believe, I think we actually saw that that doesn't help us in any way. So let's not bring that one along. Let's instead look for some weapons that would be uh, a little bit more useful to us. Uh, or possibly even an extra ring, maybe. There's no, well, actually having an extra set of armor does make sense because although the jousting armor is going to be there, it's largely going to be unusable to us. So with that in mind, Let's go for the Imperial Armor, perhaps. At 20 max life, while you have a one-handed weapon equipped. Mm, not super keen on that one. Food defense. Gain three defense if you have 20 plus food. Gain an extra three uh, for each additional five food beyond the 20. Uh, I don't think we're going to be ending up with much food. That's the problem. All right, Imperial Armor it is, then. I think that's uh, about it for us. I We could bring along one Platinum card, though. And we have got some Platinum weapons that I wouldn't mind checking out. We've got Hretha's Ire and Coward's Bane. We don't know about Coward's Bane, so let's get rid of... We've got a token on Archer's Bane still to be, uh, still to be had. Let's get rid of... Mm. The Harvest Blade has food bounty. After combat, receive plus one food if you complete three finishes. No, let's not bring that one and let's take Coward's Bane instead. At the end of the day, the one w uh, way I look at any difficult challenge is as long as I bring cards I've never seen before, I'm learning more about my deck, even at the expense of possibly losing. Uh, even if I lose, it doesn't matter too much. Now, we don't need to bring the Helm. Uh, we will bring along the Fine Sword, sure. The Healing Spirit also... Sure, maybe. Uh, we've got a couple of cards here, though. We've got the Worker's Hammer. This uh, weapon deals full damage to enemies regardless of defense. Useful against Empire and Ogres. Ooh. Well, and bash 40 Empire enemies as they block to unlock this token. We've got the Questing Mace 4. Defeat 20 Empire to unlock this token. 
Uh, it's tempting. We can't get the token there. We could go along with a, a little bit of extra life or some extra food to sustain us if we'd like to. You know what? Sure. Let's let's bring along. Hmm. If we bring along the workers' hammer, we're not going to have a shield. It does suck, but. Alright, I'm willing to give it a shot. And we're going to bring along some food as well. I know we can't eat food, but I don't think... that I think we'll still starve if we don't take it with us. I'm not sure. It could be wrong there, though. Well, actually, you know what? Given that, then we'll bring along the, the health tonic instead. And we'll see how that goes. So, uh, there we are. We, we've got healing spirits, gain max life, and a decent new hammer. Alright, I think... We may yet be ready to go. Now, again, we've not got a companion who's going to help us with dice, but that's fine. I think we can manage it. I think we can manage it. Let's just hope it works the way it should, and that is because we've got the jousting armor. Oh. And here we circle to a topic dear to my heart. Revenge. Okay. Better taste of blood is the first indicator that you're still alive. Blind and disoriented. You make out a voice calling to you. A bit of hands shake you upright. Wake up, coin slave! As you open your eyes, you see Malaclips leaning over you, looking the worse for wear. Where am I? As your head clears, a booming voice echoes out from the deep in the foggy marsh. Oh, where have you crawled, ghastly mice? Let your insides be gut and bones be crunched. You peer around the rock, and from the mist steps an ogre, three times as tall as a man and with a lump and vicious face. His one good eye darts about wildly as he surveys the area, hunting for something. The ogre grunts and scoops up a broken, shining trinket from the ground, splashed red with blood. Ruined with your filthy blood, wretched cut purses, riven in two. His great hideous face turns red. If thou listen, hear. I will find the twin, then I will eat thine eyes. The ogre lifts his club and smashes a tree trunk in anger. The tree creaks and crashes to the ground as, a, as Draknar the ogre turns and disappears back into the mists. It seems that the armor did little to protect against the beast, Malaclip says, examining you. You look down at your armor, a now tattered and bloody mess of metal plates and leather. We must seek out a smith and get it repaired. Because jousting armor is in the deck, strength will be harder. Jousting armor defense is reduced to zero. Malaclips grimaces as he holds his side, attempting to hide the severity of his injuries. Here, you're injured. Eat. He throws you a medicinal herb bun. Weak to your bones, you gratefully take a bite. And the bread turns to ash in your mouth. You consume one food. The food does not heal. With a sinking realization, you pull the other half of the ogre's trinket from your pack. Sure enough. You feel a wrongness emanating from it. Fractured. While holding only half, food does not restore life. Yeah, I don't think there's any reduction in the amount of food we consume. Or the effects if we don't have food to consume. We just don't heal from it. A stab of hunger hits your stomach. There is only one thing for it. You must steal back the other half from the ogre. That almost killed you. And the closest town is Drapier, Malclips whispers hoarsely. We cannot hope to defeat an ogre now. I always forget that I'm meant to be doing that in a hoarse voice, voice until I read whispers hoarsely. Damn it. No matter how many times I do this run. Summoning your remaining strength, you lift yourself to your feet and stagger to town. Very well. Okay, well, let's get a... Ooh, swamp lands. After another day of rainfall, the marshlands swell into a swamp. Water and mud obscure the path ahead. As you press on, every direction begins to look the same. Right then, I've got to go 15. Gonna be hard. Back to the bones. I that hope you that have wasn't a bad roll, actually. Reroll, please. Come on, not one. Yeah, that'll do. Well done. You continue to impress. Why, thank you. I raise my cup of tea to you in uh, celebration of my good fortune. With some luck, you find your way to higher and drier ground. Back on the path, you continue on your journey. Stirring in the mire. The poor weather slows your day's journey. To avoid the swelling bogs, you press onto higher ground and happen upon an old road through the marshlands. To the left, you see a group of cloaked thieves blocking the road. Okay, we've got the Anarchist of Greed and the Silencer of Greed. Eh, those are nasty cards. You check the path to the right. 
you hear the distant sound of a group of raiders squabbling in the northern tongue. Okay. Bazooka of Frost, that's not a bad one. And Trapper of Frost, also not a bad card. Uh, let's just double check. Yeah, sure, we're going to go with the raiders, I think. They are the easier of the uh, enemies to take on. Uh, one-handed weapons are recommended against Northerners. No, we don't have a one-handed weapon. Alas, I'm going to rely on a shield from Malaclips and also clobbering them with a weighty hammer. Good times are these. I mean, to be fair, that hammer does look like it could do a great deal of damage to someone. Oh, thank you. No thanks. To both of you. I would really like to not be caught. Oh, damn it. You've already ruined my shield with your silly, silly, silly bolus. Ouch. Damn it. Okay, no. I want to take you out if I can, please. So that you're no longer a problem for me. Nope. Oh, damn it. Wow, this thing really does bring a reckoning, doesn't it? Nope. I get a shield. Thank you. I've already lost a lot of my health. I can't afford to lose any more to these silly northerners. Go for it. There we are. And that's the lot of them down. I approve. Now they've got no defense against this, I imagine, because this weapon is so weighty and it just goes through the defense. Oh, gotta watch out for those attacks though. Go for it. That's quite nice. Yep. Okay, well, it looks like you're the one I'm gonna be working on then. No thanks. I need my uh, charge up. Ooh, I was really surprised that I uh, avoided that, actually. Go for it. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to quaff some healing potion. Just to keep myself alive. Come on, give me a double shield, please. Oh. Thank you. We're going to have to play it very cautiously this time. I know that I played... Um, Let's just say I didn't do the best last time. Um, we will be doing our best to improve on things. A little bit, at least. With the raiders defeated, you notice some equipment hidden off the path in the mire. Perhaps they were guarding it. You slide down the bank to the treasure. Uh, 13. I mean, it's not a, a difficult one to hit. Though with rolls like that, it's going to be hard. Come on. There we go. That's a little bit better, but that one again. Damn. Okay. I gain full fame. You lose your balance and you slide, knocking the items into the bog and losing it forever. It, it's going to be the way of things, unfortunately. Uh, one drunken night. Oh, not too bad. The unmistakable scrape of metal wakes you fully from your slumber and you slowly take stock of your surroundings. We are in a trap, maze. Now, if we just take our time and we're careful and we're not silly and we're very careful and we take our time and we take our time again because thrice taking your time is better than twice. We should be okay. Now, what have we got down here? Got a little bit of gold that I would have otherwise totally missed. Alright. Thank you. And let's go and grab this then. Whomp. Now, unfortunately, you're kind of in the way. Actually, just you know, slowly, slowly catch your monkey, I guess. There we are. Now, over here. There we go. Already had plenty of time to notice the pattern there. This is indeed a really nice setup. I've not seen one built quite like this before. All right. Um, I think that one's going to be easier coming at it from behind rather than uh, going from this direction. Let's have a watch of you. Nice and slow. There we go. And roll. And straight through. There we are. Right, we're going to go and grab the uh, the gold from up here. I don't think it was food at the very least. No, it was, it was just gold. No food on this one, which is a bit of a shame. I have come to rely on these to give me a chance to get some food as well. That's a bit of an annoyance, but okay. Uh, anything? Can I, can I not turn? Oh, that's, that's a bit of a scallywag. I can't turn the camera enough. To look in that direction. I think I've gotten everything though. Yeah, we definitely got that one. Okay. No, we're good. I think we've got it all. The chests, unfortunately, don't change colour once you've emptied them, so it's a little bit hard to tell, but 
Well, that's a good chunk of, of money, I think. Should put us in good stead. There we are. Gained an extra full thing. And we've got a fair bit of cash. Uh, you fumble in your haversack for something to eat. Happily, you find a half-eaten uh, pasty that is going to taste like ash. Unfortunately. Right. There we go. Let's see what we've got. The King's Road. Okay. Uh, we're going to turn back, though. I do think it's pretty important to explore everything. I oh. Met spirits, there we go. Gods. And death himself. I have no more respect for them now than when I believed the myths. Very well. Bloodied and bruised from your adventures, you lean. You learn of a remote shrine high in the mountains. It is revered amongst the few local peasants for its remarkable healing properties. You collapse before the shrine and beseech the gods to take pity on you. Uh, Eleven. Come on. You've got to be able to hit that. Ugh. Roll them both. Let's see what we get. Okay, just. Just 11. Sunshine appears through a break in the clouds to bathe you in a radiant glow. Okay, max life. And 15 max life as well. Wow, we're up to 130. That is. That's not a small amount, to be fair. Right, let's just have a quick camp, though. A spindly hag beckons you toward her shabby stall on the edge of the marsh marsh's path. Uh. I could use an artifact, but I don't feel like that right now. Let's have a look at your equipment. You've got Spiked Bone Guard. Tempting. Let's have a look at you. Easy escape from a snare. You can uh, escape from snares more easily. Dispel curse. Discard and ignore the first curse that you draw. Medium armor. Movement speed. Uh, reduce movement speed by 10%. Defense of 20. Required fame of 20. Um, what's my current armor at the moment? Let's have a look at you. It's just adventurer's garb, so it's not actually armor. Um, do I have anything worth selling? Nothing that would bring me enough. That is a bit of a shame. It's quite a shame. Okay, well, thank you all the same. We're not going to be uh, we're not going to be selling anything for that. I think if I sold everything I had, I might be able to get it. I think it was 54, and I've got one thing worth five and one thing worth four, so. Uh, continue on, but I'd have to give up this, frankly, pretty awesome hat. Approaching Draper's Gate, you notice a woman of enormous stature dressed in a blue tunic and a leather apron. Three smithing hammers hang from her waist. The woman rushes forward and embraces you, burying you deep into her chest. The gods be praised, she cries. I thought you'd surely dead. Thought you'd surely dead, or thought you'd surely be dead. Ah, reading. A skill I have yet to master. She releases you and looks up, you up and down. Look at you, she says before you can get a word in. That foul beast didn't hold back now, did it? She whips around to face your companion. Bard, she bellows. I told you to keep him out of trouble. You should know better than to steal from an ogre. Malaclip shrugs and winks, then winces from his injuries. Uh, she pauses for breath. You seize your chance to interrupt. Ask about the jousting armor. Well, I'll be, Ariadne ga uh, gasps. If it isn't the jousting armor... I dare say, it's seen better days. You should take it to Anders. Who are you? I'm Ariadne, the blacksmith's daughter, she says, surprised. We met at the Black Ale pub the night before you set off to steal Odysseus Charm. I almost broke your wrist arm wrestling, remember? She pokes at the broken ornament gingerly. Forgive me if I don't take it. The curse of Odysseus Charm only affects the wielder. If it makes you feel any better, the ogre is probably starving now too. From the look of the silver work, this is an old relic indeed. Drachna, she says, oh, Drachna the Mighty, as he is known, has lived in these parts for an age. Many have tried to fell the beast before you two misfits, that's for sure, she explains, but few live to tell their tale. The ogre is notorious for ambushing travellers and traders alike. Not even Empire soldiers are safe in these parts. Accumulated wealth of treasures plucked from his victims, including that cursed relic you, now, you have now. Ariadne shakes her head. One blow from Drachna's club would crush you. You won't survive it unless you get a good set of armor on you. Increase your defense in order to survive the ogre. Listen, I help run a traveling forge. It's currently heading here. Okay, that's not far away. Come see us, and bring that tattered armor with you. I'm sure Anders will be keen to see it. The piece of Odysseus' charm weighs heavily in your pack. You wish to fling it in the mire, but some strange magic stays your hand. 
Starving and injured, you rest a while in town. Or not. We move on immediately. Illicit Here trade. Here is your reward, at least in potential. Well, Eclipse leads you to a weapon merchant carriage tucked away in the shadiest part of town. Esmeralda has a bit of a soft spot for me, so I should be able to fetch us a good price, he says, rapping on the carriage door. By the gods, Malaclips! Were you executed for that cat and crowbar debacle? Says Esmeralda as she ushers you in. She kicks a panel under her seat, and a secret compartment opens, unveiling the stock she has on offer. Oh. Okay, well, let's actually have a look at... Choose an equipment card to keep. Um... I doubt you've got the fame for this, but bullseye, I don't know what this does. Uh, let's have a look and inspect. Uh, wide beam. The width of the beam of light is increased during a precision gambit. Okay, that's kind of cool. But, coward's bane. We need 22 fame. That's actually not difficult to hit. Stun Dancer. Performs a flurry of 12 hits that cause a short stun whenever activated. Can be guided towards multiple targets. Each thief, def uh, thief defeated in combat increases the weapon damage by one. Light. Hits increase during a combo. Repost can interrupt counterattacks. Weak against enemies with high defense. And Bone Guard. Uh, I mean, it's nice. Imperial Armor. Also super nice. Uh, I do need the defense, though. That's the thing. So I desperately need the defense. We can wear this, so I'm going to go for the Imperial Armor, I think. How about we make a deal, she says. The bells on her robe tinkle as she leads you to the door, pressing the equipment into your arms. In a few moments, soldiers are going to storm through and raid my respectable establishment. You take this for free, and I run. Uh, that, that seems fine, actually, yes. Uh, yeah, I would like to, to equip that just as well. I picked up armor then, isn't it? Shouts echo up the alleyway, spooking the carriage horses. Uh, let's have a quick look then. I believe this is... It ignores defense, which is great against Imperials, but additionally, I need to bash four Empire enemies as they block to unlock this token. All right. No, I like it. This works out reasonably well. Uh, okay. Phalanx of Steel. Musket of Steel and the Captain of Steel. Uh, the Captain and the Musket I'm not too happy about, but the Phalanx of Steel is going to give me an opportunity to bash several people with this. Oh, thank you, Esmeralda pushes you out the carriage and into the alleyway. You find yourself completely surrounded by Empire Guards. Okay, so now, from this point on, we know that illicit trade is good for getting a free piece of equipment and a guaranteed fight with Imperials. Pretty bloody good, I must say so. Uh, Alright, now Malaclips has a soft spot. I wonder if having Malaclips here is how I get the token or whether the token is always available. But I would, I would like it if, if just hidden away, if you happen to have Malaclips, that's the way you get the token here. Right. I want that. Thank you. No. Thank you. Want to get you out of here. Okay. Let's uh, be on the move. Right. Let's try and take that down. Ouch. No. Nope. nope. Thank you. Really wanted to just kill you, frankly. Can I go for it? Wallop. And keep going. Nope. Oh, okay, okay. Now, there we go. Malaclips, have you got a shield ready? You have not, and that is decidedly ungood. You do now. Get me the shield, please. I just want the captain out of the way, because the captain can do special things that I would rather not be done. Okay, nope. Oof. Okay, the captain is down. Good times are these. Right. Now I want to get the musketeers out of the way. I know, I know, D'Artagnan would be very disappointed in me right now, but I don't care. There we go. That's uh, another one down. I need to take out the uh, Phalanx with bashing, but that will be fine. No, thank you. Oh, dear. Uh, you keep hold of that shield for now, because I am going to need it shortly. Just want to take out the uh, ranged attackers before they cause me too much issue. No, oh, thank you. Let's... Uh, Take these down. There we are. And again. There we are. No. And again. Whoop. Oh. This thing has quite the wallop on it, doesn't it? I'm really liking this weapon. Liking this weapon a lot, I must confess. 
Oh. And let's... Ooh, Drax. Well, that's why we got here, Malaclips, is so that you've got that shield for me. Uh, the fact I got hit twice in that. Disappointed in myself, because I was really trying to be calm and collected with that fight. But, uh, these things do happen. Again, this is why Malaclips is my companion right now, because that shield saved me quite a lot of life. Esmeralda whips her horse and carriage into motion. She weighs uh, you as she escapes. You scavenge what you can from the dead. You gain full fame. Fifteen life. Very, very nice. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling... No, I'm not going to say it. No. I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to say it. It is not too late to plan better. The sun's warm rays do little to lift your spirits as the mosquitoes and flies torment you. To avoid the swelling bogs, you press on to higher ground and happen upon an old road through the marshland. To the left, you see a group of cloaked thieves blocking the road. Five of greed and slicer. Uh, sorry, silencer of greed. Uh, to the right, you make out a group of empire brigands. Fantastic. Uh, fantastic. Musket of steel and five of steel. No, these are really good. It'll be Empire. I just want to see how many I've blocked. Uh, 10 of 40 so far. Not bad. All right, Empire Brigands it is. There we go. And once again, we'll be taking on the uh, Musketeers first. Wipe them out, then we can work on the others. I'm not sure that bashing them, if they're not blocking, makes any difference. But uh, that captain really was quite useful, I think. Right, give me the shield, please. There we are. I hope it works too, actually. Right, please. No. Two. Three. That's enough. One. Nope. Nope. Damn it. Thank you, but no. I prefer it if you do. Two. Three. And. One down. Good. Mile clips, really? Uh, I'll be over there in a second, then. Nope. Thanks, but no. Two. And three. There we go. I'll get you up in a second. I'm actually on a roll right now, you see? Wallop. And no. Can I get a stun? No, I can't. Ah, drag. Okay, now I need to be up and up and about. Wake up, mate. There we are. You're welcome. Get that shield ready, please. Like right now. Desperately needed. Let's take you down. Nope. Oh, that's not the right button. Ah! No. Okay, well, that opportunity's lost. Ah, dread. Uh, press the wrong button completely. There. Nope. Thank you. That's uh, quite frustrating that I lost that. Oh, and I lost the shield again? Oh, there we go. No. Nope. I mean, ultimately, I've still got one use on that... Uh, that ability, so it's not terrible, but that was a very sloppy fight, actually. Very, very sloppy fight. I prefer stronger but fewer opponents. Or at least with a weapon like this. With the brigands defeated, you notice they were guarding some equipment hidden off the path in the mire. Okay. 13. Come on, 13. That is nowhere near 13. Come on, 13. That is even further away. <laughs> Okay, uh, I get a fame at least. It's not terrible, I suppose. Alright, what are we going to find down here? Wetland ambush. It's like rustling in the reeds. Is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. And we're going to be facing the Shaman of Frost. If it is just the Shaman of Frost, fate has been particularly unkind to that Shaman. I think this happened last time as well. It's like, yeah, you, as a dedicated healer, you're kind of not useful when it's just you. I mean, you don't even really heal yourself. I'm not even going to run. I'm just going to walk. You do a little bit of damage when you do that. But that's only if I'm particularly... Uh, particularly uh, unobservant. There you go. Oh! Almost got me there, wasn't I? Let's take you out. Two, three, four. And... Wallop. Five. Wow. You just didn't want to do your magic teleport. I guess they just figured this is pointless. I'll, I'll just accept my fate. It's easier this way. 
With the radius of E, did you search the area for supplies? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we might not have to uh, go to a shop just yet, then. Not bad. Meredith. Walking through the shady forest, you encounter a young maiden. She stops to greet you once again. For centuries I have helped the mortals who find themselves lost in my forest, and now with my strength and power returned, is there anything that may aid you with your journey? Um, supplies, simply so that I don't have to worry about them. I could ask for a longer life, but we've got a max life of 130 already. Uh, but we've got 45 gold that I could just use to buy supplies. Um, no, let's go for, for, our, for supplies. This should bring you great nourishment and sustain you for several days, she says with a twinkle in her eye. There we are, three food. Nice, eight food. Very nice, okay. The King's Road. Feeling dizzy from the lack of food, you find the road again. You weakly trudge on, knowing you must face the ogre soon. A column of smoke and the clang of metal are the first signs that you are in the right place. As you round the bend, you see the forge outside the gate of Blackwater. You spy on your acquaintance, Ariadne, assisting a blacksmith on the bellows. Ah, there you are, Ariadne says with a smile. She removes her gloves to wipe her brow. These are the two I was telling you about, Anders, she says to the blacksmith. I almost broke this one's wrist in an arm wrestle. <laughs> she will never let that, that rumour die, will she? I guess it isn't a rumour, it's a fact, but it's a fact that I would prefer not to be a fact, so it's a rumour for now. Show Anders your armour, Ariadne insists. You lay the remains of the jousting armour on the bench. It is barely holding together, the plating is dented and joinery frayed. I must admit, it's normally only horseshoes and farming equipment I mend these days. It's quite an honour to be working on the jousting armour. Ari's father made this suit, you know. Ariadne scoffs and leads you away from the forge. We're heading to Cottonmore. Perhaps you should meet us there and see how it's coming along. Draknar will be hunting you for, uh, for your half of Odysseus' charm. We should try and find what gear you can. You and Malaclips, thank you, and continue on your way. Very well. Across 100 years, almost every true artifact of power has been lost. What used to be a lavish monastery has taken a major hit from the recent raid. A monk laments. It's a shame about the missing gold, but it's an even greater tragedy that they've stolen our holy relic. You volunteer to search for the raiders. Finally, a profitable venture, says Malaclips, as he gathers a handful of coins strewn over the ground by the fleeing raiders. Oh, okay. Very well. You follow a trail of abandoned trinkets to find the northern raiders sleeping on top of a pile of treasure in a conspicuous forest clearing. Take the violent approach. Take the stealthy approach. Um, let's take the stealthy approach. Okay. That's easy. You stealthily tie the raiders up without disturbing their slumber and haul the stolen item back to the monastery. The monk grabs the carved sapphire hat from you as soon as you return. The holy relic! This is worth far more than gold to us, so please take the rest as your reward. Wow, that was super easy. That was crazy easy. Oh my lord. Uh, let's go to the camp, see if uh, trade has been uh, changed by equipment. Is it? Uh, it's bullseye. Um, we could take it, but I don't think it's really going to help us. 30 gold, I'd rather keep. So, no, we're, we're good with that. Thank you, though. Uh, break camp. It was worth checking, though. The sun's warm rays do little to lift your spirits as the mosquitoes and flies torment you. To avoid the swelling bogs, you press onto higher ground and happen upon an old road through the marshland. Uh, to the left, you see a group of cloaked thieves blocking the way. Anarchist of Greed, and... Yeah, Silencer of Greed, of course. And we see a, a bunch of raiders squabbling in the Northern Tongue. We've got the Berserker of Frost and Five of Frost. I would have preferred it to be the Trappers of Frost, but we'll go with the raiders. Obviously. There we go. Because against thieves, this really slow weapon, not a good move. If I had the, uh, the knives, uh, Coward's Bane or whatever it was called, uh, then that would, be, would have been great. But, alas, we do not. Right, gonna need a top of the shield, Malaclips. Come on, shield. Thank you. Nope. Let's just try and work our way through these ones. Oh, thank you. 
I'll just work on it for now. Whichever one I can, really. There we go. One down. No, oh, thank you. I could try and defend, but... Uh, uh, sorry, um... Uh, block, but there's not much point, considering I don't even have a shield, so... Alright, get up, Malaclips. Malaclips, wake up. There we go. Uh, that helps. Uh, yes, it does, actually. Could you get another shield ready? Because I'm probably going to need it reasonably soon. Uh, get off my Malaclips, you scoundrel. Could you please stop attacking my Malaclips? I mean it. No more Malaclips bashing. Oh, that was unfortunate. Uh, okay, Malaclips. Get up. No, I imagine he's like, just let, let, leave me down. If I get up, they hit me more. Which is true. Ouch. Oh, no, I actually managed to avoid it. No, no. Right, let's take you down. There we go. Oh, wow, a full hammer swing. Underhanded hammer swing to the chin. That is going to hurt like nothing else. Okay, I didn't take a single hit there. Managed to keep that sing same shield all the way through the battle. Despite the fact that I was a little bit concerned about having uh, regular raiders in amongst the berserkers. Malaclips, on the other hand, did pretty badly. With the raiders defeated, you notice some equipment hidden off the path in the mire. Perhaps they were guarding it. Perhaps they were. And perhaps this time I'll even get the right roll. No, I won't. Uh, come on, let's go. Ah, uh, we did. Wow, there we are. Very nice. <laughs> For those who care I'm about accuracy, myself, I think the story is more important than the truth. In, in, indeed, uh, I, I agree. This is not the best thing, honestly. All right. Well, that may mean that the a lady in the camp may have changed her equipment. Archer's bane. Hmm. Now, the thing with Archer's Bane is it's reflect 15 projectiles with a shield that can reflect. I'm not sure our shield can, but I will take it all the same. I'm not, however, going to equip it. No. Uh, we are then going to leave. Thank you very much. Let's just double check my equipment. Can this reflect? I don't believe it can. Use the defend to block attacks from ranged enemies can only be equipped with the weapon. Mm. I think I need a specific shield to have reflect on it. White land ambush. Okay, well, I've been ambushed. That's unfortunate, because this would have actually been good for my uh, shield to be involved, but okay. Doesn't really matter too much. This, this hefty weapon of ours does a really nice job. I've, I, I feel it's probably one of the better weapons we've got against uh, strong enemies. Right, no, no, absolutely not. Right, let's take out the trappers. Oh, drap. That was unfortunate. Wasn't it? Yep, it was. Nope. Let's just finish you off, please. Ouch! I was moving a little bit too much there to uh, dodge that blow, which is quite frustrating, I must confess. Let's be on the move. Only a couple of hits and then... Oh, no way! Wow, that was super duper bad of me. Can I? Right, there we are. Let's restore my health a little bit to what it was before. Right, nope. Let's finish you off. I can! Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Oh, that is really bad. There we go. Get the kill. Oof. That saved me. Oh, and then I immediately flubbed it anyway. But uh, that would have saved me had I, had I not then immediately tried to attack him. Because whilst I was performing the takedown, I was effectively immune to attack. Which would have been good, but alas. Thank you. That actually broke me out of that attack just in time. Oh. Completely flubbed. This has been a messy combat. Wow. Two? Maybe even three hits in that? And that, well, that's in addition to the shield. So that's, that's three or four hits in total. Oof. Really, really messy. Let's hope we get some decent equipment from this. Ugh, food. I mean, it's not no, its not terrible, I suppose, but it's not great either. Children Ooh. are always the ones to suffer most. They have an excess of capacity for it. That is... Probably the most sinister way that you could have put that, dealer. I'm not going to ask any questions, and I don't want any answers. You linger near a fort in the abandoned docks of the great city. 
Malaclip sidles out of an alley and strokes his moustache. Well, Consulate, the Empire has stolen mage children hidden away in there. Now, I'm not fond of children, as you well know. You recall a time when Malaclips was asked to relinquish his last sweet roll to a crying child. He refused. But Ira won't give me the cure if we don't rescue them. He outlines the plan to you. It is worryingly brief. These forts are all interconnected, so even if we defeat one lot of guards, they're bound to call reinforcements. We'll have to get in and out quick. Defeat two steel monster cards within 60 seconds. Very well, we're going to go with the hammer then. Five of steel and phalanx of steel. Neither one are pretty good. Um, okay, got it. Malaclips has drawn a helpful diagram in the dirt. The self-portrait is particularly generous. Um, why would they kidnap me, children? They're evidence that the old world ever existed, and they don't like that. Uh, these are not generous cards. Think this one? Oh my lord, that is the worst! And I could have got. At the exact moment you leave your hiding spot, a soldier swings the gates wide open. You and the soldier lock eyes, startled, before the young man comes to his senses and shouts, Intruders! Uh, Malakip swears as you skulk back to the alley. Through here, you seem to be into a sewer grate. You follow before the soldier finds you. Defeat three steel monster cards in 60 seconds. That is not happening. The rough stone walls of the narrow passageway grate against your skin, and you feel your way through the sewers. You stumble blindly into Malaclips and clumsily plunge into this water. The commotion rouses a group of corrupted creatures taking refuge in the sewer. They don't take kindly to your interruption. Your artifact is empty now and will be of little use to you here. It won't be much use, that's true. Well, this is going decidedly rubbish. Is it, am I just fighting the, the corrupted here in the sewer? That's fine. Actually, that's really fine. Yep. Thank you. But no. Oh. Let's smash it. And smash it again. And smash it again. And smash it again. Ouch. Damn it, it managed to get me. Oh, we were one hit away from it as well. Uh, that is... That is so fantastically frustrating. I just got into a rhythm and I wasn't flexible enough to notice that the rhythm had changed. The final monstrosity falls, gurgling. Malclips gazes at the bodies with a troubled look on his face. This one is wearing a necklace. It looks like a family heirloom. The brand usually found... Uh, the bard usually fond of looting and stealing doesn't allow you to touch the necklace. You peer at the access tunnel. It's set too high into the wall. You won't be able to get go back that way. We're going to explore the sewers, I think. Okay. Okay, okay. I think it's this one. Ow! Ow! <laughs> there was one possibility that was not good. Oh, yeah. Unusual shapes bob in the water. But you're, uh, you've no interest in investigating further. You peer at the access tunnel, and it's up too high on the wall. Find our way out. That was terrible, though. I think this one. Yeah, there we go. While searching for the access tunnel, you find a sealed crate of honeyed toffees. Uh, take the toffee. Okay. I'm not entirely certain that taking food from a crate in a sewer is good. Uh, Malclips beckons you to a wrought iron gate. If I'm not mistaken, and I never am, how dare you question me, this will take us directly into the fort. He allows you to go first. You leave the moisture and murk of the sewers behind. You find yourself in a cellar. There are wine caskets, jars and pickled vegetables, and a sizable iron cage wreathed in pulsing light. Within the cage, the missing mage children huddle, unsure of your intentions. Malaclips reaches for the heavy lock upon the cage's gate. It sizzles and he drops it quickly. By Freda's skirts, that burns. He presses a long metal implement into your hand and steps back. You tentatively touch the lock. It doesn't burn you. You attempt to pick the lock. Okay. The pendulum nope. is ever changing. Try. And the challenges it presents change too. A lockpick slips from your fingers and clatters into the cage floor. You're surprised by the sudden sound of steps shuffling up the stairwell. The bard drops the, the cheese wedge he had been pilfering from the cellar shelves. Oh no! You freeze in place and wait as the steps get louder and louder. 
and a servant boy comes down the stairs and stops dead in his tracks. He takes one look at you, picking the lock, the terrified children in the cage, and Malaclips are laden with stolen cheese before backing away in fear and running up the stairs. He will alert the guards, defeat four steel monster cars within six seconds. This has gotten so ridiculously bad. You attempt to pick the lock again. Uh, my life. No! Well, look, I'm gonna go for the gold, alright? things appear impossible, they can be mastered. I refuse to settle for the, the, the silver. The lockpick slips from the fingers and glances into the cage again. You're surprised with the sun sound fits? Okay. I mean, at this point, and a large spectacle dog enters the cellar, paying no heed to you, the main children, or the bard stealing cheese. I thought that was going to be the same thing. Sorry, I skipped it. It patters over the barrel of apples and begins to eat them one by one. You attempt to pick the lock again. No. Uh. Closer. By small, small amounts. Sweating with anxiety, your hands slip and the lockpick stabs you in, in your palm. Ouch! Uh. But you must keep trying. You have to pick the lock again. This next time will probably kill you. It's fine though. I'm gonna save the children. I promise. I promise it'll happen. <gasps> Told you. Never settle for second place. Well. With a kick, the lock pops open and clatters to the floor. Malaclip shouts triumphantly and swings the door open. Shaking, one of the older children pipes up, Excuse me. Malaclip crosses his arms at the lack of applause. The girl continues, eyes wide with fear. I can enchant the scouts with a spell of befuddlement. Malaclip nods. That will buy us some time. The children pulls out a small, worn notebook. She draws from its power. Defeat four steel monster cards within 90 seconds. Okay, children. Malaclips awkwardly pats one on the head. Your mother and I are going to kill the bad man. You stay here and... What? Ha, what? Hang on a second. Unless we die, in which case, you're on your own. The children nod, numb with terror. Malaclips. Never have children. You sneak up the stairs to survey the scene before you. The soldiers mill about in the fourth courtyard. It would only have been two. Two of them that I would have had to have defeated in 90 seconds. But no. Malaclips draws his spellbook. I have an incantation that will covertly teleport a few soldiers far away from here, potentially to their deaths, but it'll require some of your blood. I don't have much to give. Why my blood? Ah, these are spells I rarely use. I'll need blood magic to be able to perform them. The bard notes your raised eyebrow and clutches his arm defensively. Not me, I'm a gentle flower. Besides, look at you. You're simply bursting with blood. No, no, no. You, you, you've got bursting and, and leaking different words. They might result in the same thing, but they have different implications. I'm not bursting with blood. I am leaking it everywhere. This may actually kill me. So I'm going to... But we were, aren't, we're not going to defeat them. If they take less... Let's hope it's like 10. Five max life. Oh, that's fine. Max life is fine. Your blood drips onto the rune-aligned page. Here we see oh, another dear. wheel. Each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Why so bad? Um, I'm trying to find the the phalanx, but I'm having a hard time noting their position on the wheel. No, got them. Okay, so but there. Oh, I completely flubbed it. That was the forest steel. Where was the phalanx then? Uh, oh, the phalanx with the giant shield. For some reason, I thought it was a four. All right. Fine. Whatever. I'm not going to choose again. Well, we're lucky enough to get that instead of failure. Um, continue. I want you here with me for the shield. Ah, shadows envelop a group of soldiers patrolling near the wall. They, trouble, they tumble to the ground before vanishing from sight. Ah... Uh, Okay, try again. That's fine. I've got max life to spare. Okay, now I know what the phalanx card looks like. But, honestly, the phalanx card is probably not going to be as rough to get rid of as the others. So, uh, about there. Oh, no. I was going for the five of steel. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to accept this one without then. And about there. Yeah, no! Super bad. Hmm. Malaclips accidentally sets the barrel beside you on fire. A loud and fiery be beacon. Ah, shots of intruder echo around the fort. Well, poop. I spent my blood on that, Malaclips, you scoundrel. Alright, I'm just going to have to wade into this full aggression. 
I was really hoping to get rid of the five, but alas. Okay, charging. There is uh, very little time to do this. Right, All right, let's just go for it. Wallop, wallop. No, nope. I'm gonna have to rely on the reposts where I can. Nope. Oh, that was unfortunate. Nope. Thank you. Finish you off, please. Ouch. That is not particularly good. I must be fast. Nope, dead. Drat, I was in the middle of uh, executing the attack there. I should have seen the the, uh, the counter, the, the attack coming and tried to counter that. That was Combat my foolishness. So little. It has ended this, <sighs> oh well. Uh, once again, <laughs> it was going all so well until that last part where, honestly, I, fe I felt really confident about the run. I'll be honest. I, I felt that we really had a strong chance of finishing this run until that point. We had loads of gold, plenty of food, a decent amount of life, and then... Uh, oh, well. Uh, Merchant's Favor has been upgraded. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. A new Platinum card, eh? I think I accept. Oh well, that is it for this episode, or episodes perhaps. Uh, in the next, we're going to be uh, taking on one of the cards that we haven't tried before. I think I think like two or three attempts at strength is enough for us for now. Uh, we've got the Hanged Man, we've got Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, the Stair, and then more challenges to unlock besides. Uh, maybe we'll try on the Hanged Man. Let's actually have a look at you. The North is invading the Empire, and the Imperial Army is nowhere to be seen. Keep ahead of the Northern Horde as it sweeps towards the capital, evacuating as many villages as you can. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll be trying the Hanged Man in the next episode. I do hope you've enjoyed this one, though, and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>